as you check the children. Go a little mad sometimes. Hi, I'm Chucky. Wanna play? Oh, thanks. Sometimes. That is better. You're gonna need a bigger boat. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to The Horror Show. I'm Cecil Laird. I'm Mark Parker. Robert Duell. I mean, we're going to get doing a Patreon review here. Uh, thank you very much to Sam Glass for yeah. suggesting this one. This is the um, 2019 release? Yeah, 2019, Plato? correct. Release called The Shed, which is a vampire movie. It is on Front Street on the, on the uh, poster, as you can see right now as I'm even talking about it. Um, guys, <clears throat> this movie is one that I had seen. I, I never watched any full reviews. I just watched, I think, the beginning of one or two where there were... Uh, it was like a mixed bag. It was like someone liked it and then someone didn't. I gotta be honest, having given it a try now, like on my own, I actually quite liked the way The Shed played out. I enjoyed this movie. I thought it was, you know, vampires have been done so many different ways, so many repetitive ways. This was a nice new way to do it. And so I was along for the ride and I enjoyed it. Marsha? Yeah. I think uh, my experience was a mixed experience, so I can kind of understand where people are coming from. Like, uh, like there were moments that I was like, oh, this is really budget limited. And then there were moments where I was like, wow, this acting is really good, and I really like that dyna dynamic between these characters. And then it was like, ugh, this is not going the way I thought it was going to go. This is not good at all. And then at the end, I was all like, okay, it was fine. You know, so I'm like... So you're basically just like... It was a roller coaster. It was a roller coaster. Like, there's, there's times where I'm like, wow, this is really neat. And I hope they keep doing... I don't know if they're going this way. And, you know, it was it's very interesting. Yeah, I don't know. It was, it was, it was interesting. Okay. I, I had a lot of fun with this actually, and it, it was nice to see because this was actually shot back home where I am from, up in upstate New York. That's what I thought. Yeah, I'm sure. Yeah. Uh, so it was, it was nice to see that and whatnot. But no, like I, I enjoyed the story. It was it was simple enough, but like even with Cecil said, it was something kind of new to the the vampire kind of thing, especially with how the, how it opened. Mm -hmm. Like I I kind of dug that. I don't know. <clears throat> I, I would have maybe have liked to have seen a little bit more carnage. Okay. Mm -hmm. Personally, because a lot of it was off camera. Fair enough. But going back to budget, so work with what you got. All in all, though, this was still a pre pretty, uh, a pretty <laughs> pleasant movie. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, but no, it was enjoyable. That's really all, all I would say. Give it a watch. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one that's been on my radar for a while, being a Shudder release and also being a lover of vampires, as anybody who's watched this channel for a length of time knows. Um, I... I wasn't over the moon for it, you know. I dug, I dug some of the acting and some of the intricacies uh, with these characters, you know. The, you know, the, I was that kid who had the girl that he liked and you know didn't work out with, whatever. And also, you know, like bullied a little bit to a degree and stuff. But I also liked the fact that it took place in the '90s. They're all wearing their grunge like fashion mm -hmm. and stuff and whatnot. Didn't like the music as much. Didn't like a lot of the carnage. Really didn't like the sheriff character. Um, I felt bad for this main kid though, and the situation he found himself in with his grandfather and and stuff. Uh, nicely shot though, especially the, the locales, you mm -hmm. know, where, where they chose to actually do it. I thought that was cool. The finale just really, the, the montaginess and the pairing up with these other people that had been giving them shit the whole movie. Like, I don't, it just all kind of came together very quickly and in a pseudo sort of silly fashion and stuff. I, I that was pretty cut and dry. I you did not like the third act of the go. movie. I didn't like the third act of the movie at all. And also a choice that they made with the best friend character. I wasn't so yeah. hot on that character. Yeah, so, but, I'll agree with yeah. on that one. So well, yeah. just hit the story real quick then for you. Yeah, yeah. Just the rough, rough. Yeah, so we, the rough, yeah, rough. so uh, yeah. we've we, we've got these two two best friends in this small town in upstate New York, and uh, they dream, or at least one of them in particular dreams. Well, most of the adolescent kids seem like they're dreaming of getting the hell out of this this particular town and making something of their lives. Um, our main character, he has this girl that he used to be kind of close with, and. She went off and started banging down the, the asshole guy, as all too often happens in high school, because, you know, women love assholes and stuff. Um, so, Mary so there's a... What? Oh, jeez. Oh, good <laughs> lord. <laughs> hey, some continuing along, I guess. But, uh, no, I'm just kidding. But, uh, yeah, so, so we have our two persecuted kids and our main one, well, teenagers, obviously. Uh, our, our main one, though comes upon a vampire in his shed, and that's the opening scene that Robert was talking about where there's this uh, neighbor of our main dude, or our main kid, and he's being chased by a vampire through the woods, 
and he gets bitten, manages to escape because some sunlight is coming through the trees, and he goes and he just stows away and hides in the shed. And as you see in the trailers, the, as the main kid finds out and then in turn tells his best friend, they're like, we can use this against the bullies. But the B story is the fact that our main kid is also dealing with depression from his parents not being around and from just being stuck in this small town. He's got this grandfather who's like old cranky pants and, mm -hmm. and whatnot. And uh, he's, it's starting to, this sort of aggravation, depression, teen angst is starting to seep into his school life. Like he beats the shit out of the bully. I wasn't expecting that. So he's, he's rough around the edges, this kid. And yet it's his friend who is a little more at the mercy and he's the one who devises this plan to go after, go after the dudes who have been messing with them for so long. And really, it just turns into circumstance after circumstance to get different people of the town to go in the shed and get eaten. And it's as simple as that, honestly. There's mm -hmm. not really much else that happens. You know who really so. got screwed over in this movie? Hmm. A dog. Uh, I felt, mm -hmm. I felt that bad was, for That was some horse shit. I love German Shepherds, yeah, yeah, yeah. said. Well, oh it was still. Yeah, it was still. Uh, it was I effective. still think it was an effective yeah, yeah, it was, movie. Yeah, yeah, but I, it was, I think the story was was told well again for what they were trying to present. Mm -hmm. They weren't trying to go for anything more than what yeah. they actually showed. Mm -hmm. So I think it was done very well, you know, mm -hmm. very deftly. So I I was a big fan with how the story came through and the acting portrayed it all fine. There was a couple people that were a little more grating than some of the others. The bullies. Um, yeah, the bullies a no, little bit. That was that that and I would say like like what well, I think it was Fuego mentioned the sheriff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. With her gallon hat. Yeah, she. Well, you know who that is. That was the chick that uh, her husband uh, Edgar was taken away in Men in Black. Sugar water. Sugar water. Wow. Yeah, I don't remember that. Yep. Yeah. yeah. A long time since she's I watched like, Men in Black. Yeah, yeah, and she's yeah. A, she's actually oh, yeah, uh, she's a uh, character uh, New York native to the Syracuse area where they were filming and everything. Her, her and I believe the 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 guy who played her, his grandfather. I mean, I mean, you play the character given, right? Yeah. I think everyone did a good job as far as acting goes, though. Yeah, I mean, they're, they're they're outside of a few people. Yeah. I, think, yeah. I think it, like I said, like it when it came in waves, like there, were, like, and I think it boils down to the writing mm -hmm. because yeah. they had some really well thought out and written scenes, and you could really see some chops with the characters, especially the dynamic between the two friends. Um, but then all of a sudden, it kind of just would disappear. It's like they had someone come in and clean up a few acts, and you're like, oh, this is really good. And then it's like, oh, he went back to the other side. <laughs> and, you know, I don't know. Like, overall story, it, like, it was different, um, but I think they, the writing wasn't strong enough to carry the overall movie. Um, but I do like where they were, where their head was in making the movie, and, and, uh, per, and it was obviously had some budget constraints, but I thought they did a well job with it, with the, ac the actors that they got, um, and what uh, effects they were able to do, um, and the cinematography was, it was decent, like, I mean, you're not looking at a blockbuster film, but it's still enjoyable in that aspect. Mm -hmm. Well, yeah. especially in the, uh, the practical effects aspect. Mm -hmm. Like for what for what shots we did get to see of the vampire and it it was good it was effective. Well, and the and the, the kills sizzling were cool. and stuff when he yeah. reached yeah. into the sun. Yeah, all, like those, all the effects were done very cool, well. I thought. Yeah. yeah. Again, for for the low budget that this film had, I think it was just very effectively mm -hmm. told. Yeah. They knew yeah, what they were, they knew what they were wanting to do, and I, they for what they were able to use with the budget, I think they executed it pretty well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, it was really just kind of the, the boredom of the story at times and, and the third act and going into montage mode and all that stuff. That was where they kind of lost me. But I'm, I'm with you. Great setup and, you know, with limited, you know, financing behind this stuff, I feel like they they went above and beyond and exceeded what you would have expected. Because mm -hmm. really they were, had, like, at max, like, three locations. Mm -hmm. It was pretty much just in the yeah. backyard and in the shed. In the school. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. It was basically, yeah, the school and then the, the house, the mm -hmm. shed area. Yeah. So yeah, guys. Um, I don't know. Any? I think we've covered this. I mean, we're a yeah, little bit across the board. Already but... touched on the practical and everything. Yeah, and like exactly. It, it's there. They they did a little bit of CGI enhancements, but that's about it. They yeah. weren't heavy handed yeah. with it, which was nice. Mm -hmm. yeah. And I always enjoy that. And yeah. I, it was and such I... a small, self-contained story. Mm -hmm. Again, focused, just yep. like you know other movies we've reviewed recently. I, I think mm -hmm. they did a good job. Mm -hmm. so. So yeah, guys, that's going to do it for our review of The Shed, still available on Shudder, right, yes, as yes. we do this, Shutter so Shutter exclusive, yeah. go and check it out, and uh, let us know what your thoughts are, if you've already seen it, try not to spoil it in the comments down below, but uh, thank you again for watching, if you enjoyed the video, click the like button and subscribe, and until next time, I've been Cecil Laird, uh, Mark Berger, Robert Gould, Gracias, Sam Blast, and I'm Fuego, and remember, 
Stay scared.